Welcome to the sanctuary. My name is Virgil Clunder. A few years ago, my wife and I built the sanctuary as a Caribbean style type of resort for our family and friends. And in the next few minutes, you'll see why it's one of, if not the most unique estate property in all of Southwest Florida. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now the sanctuary is actually uniquely located in South Florida in that it is about two miles from the Gulf of Mexico and two miles from one of the largest deep water marinas on the entire west coast of Florida. Now the first five acres is the fully developed uh, uh, gated part of the estate in which we live and the other five acres is an identical uh, matching parcel right next door which we originally bought uh, would be perfect for using with horses and stables and things like that. Um, surrounding the sanctuary is uh, roughly about a thousand acres of undeveloped land which is comprised of hundreds and hundreds of miles of horse trails. So several people that live in this neighborhood already have horses and use the property around us all the time. It's an amazing wildlife sanctuary. Now the outdoor environment that we've created at the sanctuary rivals anything you would ever find at any Caribbean resort. The, and the best part of it is it will be all yours. Uh, we started when we dug the original lake, uh, we went down 40 feet creating scuba diving caves and caverns and reef walls. Uh, the entire pond is basically built as about a two and a half million gallon private swimming pool. It is all spring fed water. Um, the beach sand was imported uh, from a very specific place in Florida which only has the best beach sand. The waterfall is custom on its own which is 280 tons of coral that was actually dynamited out of the bottom of the lake and complete with natural high diving ledges, low diving ledges, a hot tub at the top of the waterfall which seats about 12 to 15 people which is finished off just like a swimming pool. The gazebo itself is fully functional, high speed wireless everywhere, hammock, full kitchen, uh, even a bar. Uh, as far as things to for the kids to play on, that was really kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to create an environment where kids and families and groups could come and just have a blast. Feel like they're in the Caribbean just by being you know a few minutes from home. And so we installed the uh, water trampoline, which is professional grade, a zip line from the top of the waterfall, which kids have a blast on, and even a balance bridge, which the kids can you know just. They'll, they'll spend their whole day just tiring themselves out there. It's just a tremendous blast and something which is completely unique to Southwest Florida. Now the lake was actually designed to be a fisherman's dream because we personally imported over 100 bass that are over 10 pounds each for the adult fishermen. And as far as a kid goes, it is a dream pond for a kid to fish in because from the bridge alone, a child will usually average about one fish a minute and it is just a tremendously fun pond, uh, both to play in and to, to fish on. As far as storage on the uh, property goes, there's actually a tremendous amount because there's two separate outbuildings. The first is about a 240 square foot building, which is around 20 or 30 feet from the house. And then there's also a 1500 square foot uh, fully functional shop which uh, is perfect for like a 45 foot RV. I actually had a Lamborghini collection in there for years. Uh, so it's perfect for all different types of things and there's plenty of storage. The waterfall fireplace is actually uh, one of the most unique features in the house. It's actually one of three uh, waterfalls that we have inside the house. And uh, it's unique because we actually invented it. Uh, when we originally created it, we actually had goldfish swimming in the water underneath the flames and everything and over time we just took those out. But it's, it's made of uh, aged, aged marble, aged copper, uh, and creates a tremendous effect. Uh, with, this, with the size of the great room, it uh, echoes the sound of water all throughout the house. As you can see, like even the, uh, the mantle is all handmade, hand-carved mahogany. Uh, the copper leaves uh, that have a little spiraling down, little fountains on each side of it. And it's a pretty unique little piece. And not too many houses have a wishing well right in the center of the living room, so we wanted it to be really unique when we created it. Uh, we started with the bronze dolphins in the center, uh, made the entire uh, wishing well itself out of solid granite, and ran it all the way to the top of the stairs where the water is pumped down the stairs, creating a waterfall staircase. All the glass in the house is either uh, carved glass or etched glass. In this particular case, uh, it's a piece of etched glass. There are actually three different layers of glass with different objects on each uh, layer, which gives it a sense of, sense of depth. Probably the most important thing to us when we designed the house 
was that we wanted it to have a really open feel to it where people could interact and move freely between the rooms as one giant family. Uh, the kitchen actually is one of the most popular rooms for our whole family. We spend probably the majority of our time in here because as you can see, you can pretty much you know, see everything in the house from this uh, view and it's a really fun place for the family to hang out. It's also extremely functional, you know, much more than the, you know, 40 cabinets and the double bullnose granite and the sculpted ceilings. It's just a very functional place to hang out. We've held parties here with up to three or four hundred people and the kitchen uh, works flawlessly for something like that. The uh, ceiling in the kitchen is something we're extremely proud of because of the artwork. It's a local artist that did everything, and it's one of three hand-sculpted ceilings uh, in the property. Uh, this one is actually accented by solid uh, woodwork all the way around and really gives uh, the, the kitchen a uh, very warm feel. Now the uh, formal dining room is one of our other favorite places to hang out. It's The centerpiece is a hand sculpted table with etch place settings and it's really a unique piece just in itself. Uh, the room is surrounded with uh, columns, I believe there's something like 37 columns in the house and it goes all the way up to the, the second of three hand sculpted trade ceilings in the house where the spotlights actually dial in on each place setting. It really can, you can create some really unique effects with the, all the lighting that we have have all throughout the house actually but in this room especially. Now the solid cypress ceilings in the master suite are actually just a continuation from the great room and give the entire upper floor a nice warm golden feel to it. Uh, the actual bedroom itself is extremely large giving you several sitting areas, also uh, an exercise area. Um, it contains its own separate marble fireplace everything is either uh, aged marble or solid mahogany and uh, in addition to the entertainment center we also have a full little miniature kitchen up here with a microwave sink and fridge so that when we're up here relaxing away from the rest of the world we don't have to go downstairs it's actually a very nice little getaway for mom and dad Now the master bathroom we kind of created with a lot of unique architectural effects from top to bottom. We wanted it to have a spa-like feel so we used a lot of uh, aged marble, um, very unique type of tile work, uh, custom fixtures of all kinds, the carved glass which separates the uh, hot tub from the shower area, and uh, I'll, pretty much everywhere you look it's a unique architectural feature. One of the nicest features about the upstairs master suite is that both the master bedroom and the master bath open out directly onto a large private deck uh, from which you can catch some awesome sunrises and sunsets and just generally you know, relax as a couple. Now the den is actually my favorite room in the whole uh, house simply because starting with the ceiling, it's a five tray ceiling that is completely unique, all handcrafted by local artists. And it's really a thing of beauty any time of day. Uh, the entire office itself has, once again, a very warm uh, Caribbean style feel to it. And it's conducive for uh, an actual functional office because it has a separate entrance and exit, or just as a den or a, uh, an entertainment room type thing. And the best part is, if you think it looks great during the day, you gotta see it at night. Ever since we built the sanctuary, it's been a constant source of satisfaction and relaxation for our family, and it'll be the same for yours too. So come on out and see us and find out for yourself what makes the sanctuary so special.